I've teamed up with Jason to help this family home get the facelift it's been waiting for. And to boost its street appeal, I'm giving the front a fresh coat of grey to help that green in Jason's garden really pop. But first, he's creating the perfect circle with pavers. Now, I'm paving a circle, so I can't use a string line to get my heights or my lines right, obviously. So what I need to do is do it by eye. If I pick up my level, not use it as a level, but use it as a straight edge, and make sure that all the pavers are touching it. I know they're on the one plane. And if I do that all the way around, I know it'll marry in and look a million bucks. Usually when I talk about pavers, I say bigger is better because the large format is what's trendy at the moment. But for a curve like this, you need to use a small paver just so where they butt, you can get little joints. If they're big, long pavers, you get great big triangles in between each one. Now, these are bought off the shelf at Bunnings. They're $1.07 each, which works out to be roughly about $50 a square metre. But out of one square metre, you'll do five lineal metres of head, of course. And you'll do 10 lineal metres if you did them on edge like that. Now, I've almost come full circle, and I'm just about to butt up my two ends. If you want to avoid all cuts at all, what you need to do with about a metre to go is lay them out dry. You can see here I missed by about 20 mil an inch. So what I'm going to do is just fudge them, put them all a couple of mil apart, and to the eye, you won't even notice it, and you've avoided the cut. Ooh. You can see here how dark and rich this colour is. It's called Monument. It's one of my all-time favourites. It's from the Dulux Colour Bond range. And I think it works so beautifully on these places. It's a very popular, fashionable colour right now, but the good thing about it, it's actually a neutral. And because it's so classic, it's going to last the test of time. It goes with pretty much anything. And I think it's bringing this house right up to date. It has great street appeal. There are a few little tips to getting a really even paint job. So you always work to what they call a wet edge. That means you try never to let that side dry. Load up your roller fully. Just start a little bit of way and then work back into your wet edge. And then just under here where you've cut in, just go across. Do the same at the bottom where you've cut in. Join it up. And then instead of just leaving it like that, which is kind of a little bit all over the place, you always roll up. So get your roller, just very lightly roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. And there you go. That's the way to get the most even coat of paint. And as you can see, I've finished now on the wet edge, so I'll keep going. Tara Dennis. What do you think? I think it's ridiculously hot, and I look like a grot, and you still look a million bucks. <laughs> I love the colour. It's cool, isn't it? I love it. Monument, it's classic and popular. And we've tied it into the garden, and I'm going to do the same to the front fence. But what about the door? It kind of disappears. Well, it does, so I thought we could make a real feature of that. And I've heard the lady of the house likes green. Oh, no, I've tied the door into the garden. Ooh, well, there you go. It could work. Now, my steppers to get into the lawn are a contrast to that very formal dark paver. They're kind of a man-made, natural-looking stone. Now, they're a contrast to that, but they're actually going to blend in with the mulch in the garden, so the circle's going to be the thing that pops and not the path that gets to it. Laid them out dry, got my spacings right, and then laid them on a good stiff mud. You wet the back so they stick, and they should be here for a generation. Now, we're bringing the soil in, but you can see we've already placed out the pots and the chair because they're things that I'm not going to move, and we wanted to make sure we had the right look. The soil mix, it's got heaps of organic matter in it. It's like a, adding compost to the existing soil, which was pretty ordinary because it's been under this lawn for many years. is looking amazing so far, but what is letting it down is this old handrail. It would have looked great in its day, but these days we're going for the modern look, so it doesn't quite fit in. So Dazzler's just cutting away the old one, and we're going to replace it with a Merbau post and a very simple handrail, which will let the star of the show shine, the front door. And for that, I've gone for Carmelina's favourite colour. It's a beautiful green called Olive Preserve. That's fun. Yeah. 
Coming up, time to inject some life and colour into the garden, and Tara continues this front of house makeover by giving the daggy old carport some tasteful timber screenings. <laughs>